Hello, my name is James Meter and welcome to Peak Recording. Today we'll explore three stereo pairs of condenser mics I used on a recent orchestra recording. The AKG C480, the AKG 414 BTL, and the Octava MK012. I'll share where these mics were placed in the performance hall, you'll hear samples of each, and finally you'll hear how they contributed to the final mix I delivered. If you would like to follow along in your own DAW, consider signing up for my Patreon bonus content where you can download all three of the audio tracks that we'll be listening to today. Let's get started. Before we dig in here, I'd like to give a brief overview of the orchestra and the performance hall. The music that you'll hear was performed by the Peninsula Youth Orchestra, which consists of students living in the San Francisco Bay Area. The performance was conducted by Mitchell Sardo Klein on March 3rd, 2019. It took place at the Carl Mott Performing Arts Center, which is located in Belmont, California. It has a capacity just shy of 500 and is 21,000 square feet. I've been recording this group for the past 11 years with my recording partner, Robin Venens. He and I change the mic setup quite often as we learn new and better recording techniques or upgrade our gear. We record their performances three times a year, and it's always a fresh and enjoyable experience. For the listening samples you'll hear, I've chosen two sections of audio that I think demonstrate unique qualities. One section will have dynamic transients and will prominently feature the percussion section. The other is more legato and features melodic flourishes between the strings and woodwind sections. You'll hear both audio samples after I speak a little bit about the characteristics of each stereo pair. Near the end of this video, I'll share all of the audio samples back to back so you have a detailed reference when comparing their sounds. The first mic we'll listen to is the AKG C480 BULS. This is actually just the microphone body and needs to be paired with a microphone capsule. We use the AKG CK62 small diaphragm capsule, which is an omnidirectional polar pattern and picks up sound from all directions. These two AKG C480s were placed in an AB pair directly above the conductor, about 12 feet high. There was roughly two feet of space between the microphones and they were angled 45 degrees outward on both sides. These two mics will pick up a lot of the reverb in the hall, which helps the spot mics blend into the concert hall environment when mixed together with this front pair. Let's hear how it sounds. That was the AKG C480 BULS with the CK62 omnidirectional capsule. Next, let's check out the AKG C414 BTL. Next up is the AKG C414 BTL large diaphragm condenser microphone. It was made in the 80s in tandem with the AKG C414 BULS. These are the same two mics except for the absence of the transformer in the TL version. The TL instead uses coupling capacitors which allows the mic to pick up very low frequencies and increases the mic's SPL when compared to the BULS version. This 414 pair was used in the outriggers position which are placed on the far left and right sides of the stage, about 10 feet high, also set in the omnipolar pattern. They capture even more of the room ambience than the center pair since they're placed towards the edges of the orchestra. When soloing these mics, they don't sound particularly impressive because they kind of have an uninteresting sound to them, but in the context of the whole mix, I feel that they serve an important role, and that is to help add weight and fullness to the sound. Let's check it out!
That was the sound of the AKG C414 BTL. Now we'll check out the Octava MK012. The last mic we'll talk about today is the Octava MK012. This is an affordable mic which offers the option of different polar patterns. We use the cardioid capsule for this recording. I've used this mic a lot and I've also featured it in another video that I've made. It has a very slight presence peak in the high mids, roughly around 5 kHz. On the lower end, there's also a boost around 300 Hz, which helps add some body to the sound. These mics were placed between the second and third rows of the string section on the left and right sides, about 8 feet high, pointing directly down at the players. Because of the mic positioning and the polo pattern, hear how these mics pick up very small nuances in the performance. The closer placed octavas, as well as the other 8 spot mics, help support the sound of the orchestra's mix, which is largely being represented by the front two stereo pair. Let's check out how the octava sounds. That was the Octava MK012 condenser with the cardioid capsule. Now we've heard all three stereo pairs and I'd like to go back and share them all once again back to back. I'll also share a sample of the mix that I delivered, which is a blend of all 14 microphones. Now I've engaged the EQ and the reverb sense as well as all the other microphones so that we can hear how the mix ended up sounding. So there you have it. Thank you so much for checking out these three pairs of microphones with me. I hope it gave you some insight into their sound and how they might be used when recording an orchestra. The Octava is the only one of these mics still in production, but if the other mics intrigued you, keep an eye out for the C480 or 414 BTL on the used market. Again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave comments below. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next round of microphone comparisons. Until next time, 
keep chasing that tone and take care.